less than 104. So there's a 5 plus the 55 gives us 60. How many are less than 130? Well, there's 62. How many are less than 156? Well, there's none in this class, so it's it's still the 62 observations here. And how many are less than 80, 182? Well, all of the frequencies that represent observations are less than 182, so there's 64 in total. Okay. Now, <coughs> I've I've got a number of videos up online already that tell us how to calculate medians and first quartiles and third quartiles and lower bound and upper bound outliers. So I'm going to do this with a little bit of pace, okay? So the rule says this, calculate your key, in this case it's sigma f over 2, that evaluates to 32. Then what it says is go down the cumulative frequency column until you find the first frequency that exceeds. So I'm going to just write exceeds, exceeds the key, okay, is important. So we're going to go down this particular column here and we find the first value that exceeds 32. And the first value that exceeds 32 is 42. So what this has done for us is this has identified the median class. So this particular class here is the median class. Okay? L of M is the lower bound, which is 26. Small f of M is the actual frequency of the median class. Uh, capital F of M minus 1 is the cumulative frequency of the class before it. So it's these values here. And C of M is the width of the class, which is equal to 26. So we have a median value in this particular case, our median M E is equal to the lower bound of the class, which is 26, plus sigma F over 2, which is 32, minus the cumulative frequency of the class before the median class, that's capital F of M minus 1, which is 42, 25, okay, is the one before it, divided by small f of M, which is 17, and that needs to be multiplied by the class width, which is 26. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that on my calculator all in one go, because this isn't about calculating the median, this video. This video is all about, it's all about doing the five points statistics summary, which is the box and whiskers plot. So when I do this here, I'm going to have 26 plus, plus, okay, I'll do double brackets here. Uh, it's going to be 32 minus 25, okay, and that all needs to be divided by 17, okay, and then that needs to be multiplied by 26, which gives us a value of 26.7 is the median. So the median is equal to 26.7. The median observations is approximately 26.7, which actually is in this interval. Okay, so that's the median done. So let's do the first quartile, okay? So to calculate the first quartile, we have a formula. So our formula for the first quartile, the first quartile, our formula looks something like this. It's quite similar to the median. We'll call it Q1. Q1 is equal to L of Q1, the lower bound of the quartile class, plus, well, it's the first quarter. So it's, it's sigma F over four minus the cumulative frequency of the class before this quartile class divided by small f of Q, the actual frequency of the class times the class width, okay, for the quartile class. So the key in this case, the key, the key is sigma f over 4. It's this part of the formula here, which is equal to, it's equal to 64 divided by 4. And when we have a look at that on our calculator, we have 64 divided by 4 gives us a value of 16. So our key in this particular instance is equal to 16. So this is our, this is our key for the first quartile. So what we'll do is we'll walk down the cumulative frequencies until we find the first cumulative frequency that exceeds 16. And the first cumulative frequency that exceeds it is this 25 here. So what we now have what we now know is this is that this particular interval here is where the first quartile resides. So the first quartile is going to be in this particular is going to be in this particular interval here. Okay? So now we have we have the lower bound of it is zero. We have its frequency is 25, and the frequency of the class before it, okay, well, the class be there's no class before it, so there's no cumulative frequency, it's zero, okay? And the width of this class is 26, so we have all of our values. So in this particular case here, we end up with Q1. Q1 is equal to zero, that's the lower bound of the class, plus sigma f over 4, which is 16, minus the cumulative frequency of the class before the quartile class. Well, there's none before, so its cumulative frequency is zero. And that needs to be divided by small f of q, the actual frequency of the quartile class, which is 25. And that needs to be multiplied by the class width, which is 26, okay? Which gives us a value of, well, this is 16 minus zero is 16, so it's 16 divided by 25, multiplied by 26, gives us a value of 16.64. So we have q1, is equal to 16.664, okay? And uh, let's calculate the third quartile. So the third, the third quartile 
is going to be we have a formula for that it says that q3 is equal to l of q3 plus three times sigma f over four okay it's three quarters okay of of the frequencies and uh, minus capital f of q minus one the cumulative frequency before it uh, divided by small f of q and that needs to be multiplied by the width of this particular quartile class okay so once again the key the key in this particular instance here is three times sigma f over four which is going to be equal to well it's it's three times 64 divided by four gives us a key of 48 so this is our important value this is going to allow us to identify our quartile class our third quartile class so what we're going to do is we're going to go down through the cumulative frequencies and we'll be 